The morning of October 4th, I stood at the Odeon Metro and waited for my train. It was a quarter to eight. People everywhere milling around, reading their newspapers, looking at their watches. A man stood next to me. He was my age, maybe a bit older. I'd been there maybe ten minutes already when he arrived. The trains were slow that day. He looked around at the crowd of people waiting. Pardon, he said. He was wearing a suit, a black overcoat, a white scarf wrapped twice around his neck. I was struck by him the way I often am by certain Parisian men, dressed so neatly, a quality that I had, before moving to Paris, always associated with elegant women, a precision, an attention to detail that seemed forever beyond me. He was clean-shaven, wore thin-framed rectangular glasses, his hair cut short, maybe half an inch long. Vers dix minutes, I said. He thanked me, looked at his watch and blew air through his closed lips, a national gesture acknowledging that life is and will always be this way. Then there was the sound of the train. Et voilà. Enfin. The train came fast into the station. Just as it did, I sensed a flash of movement behind and to my left. And then suddenly the man flew forward. The rushing train slammed into his body with a dull, muffled noise, and he vanished. <laughs>